Welcome to Just Minded My Business Media, LLC, where you get information that you can use. I'm your host, Ida Crawford, but before we dive in, subscribe to Just Minded My Business on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. Share Just Minded My Business with your family, friends, and colleagues. Engage with us by leaving a review or comment. Your support keeps this podcast going and growing. Visit our website at jmmbmediallc.com to learn how we can support you in getting more visibility on your products and services. So grab a pen and paper and get ready for information that you can use. Today, I am so happy to bring to you James Hawaski, who is a dedicated franchise broker, channels his passion for empowering entrepreneurs and sports professionals into guiding them towards business ownership dreams. With a wealth of experience in customized franchise matching and rigorous due diligence, he ensures clients make informed decisions aligned with their goals. Beyond transaction, transactions, James fosters long-term success through ongoing support and network building. As a trusted partner, he transforms entrepreneurial aspirations into thriving realities with the franchising landscape. Well, welcome, James. I'm so glad you're here. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, it's just uh, great to see you today. Absolutely. Okay, franchising. You know, what is it? Let's get some 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 uh definitions out so that way when we're talking, people understand what's going on. Well, franchising is is the you basically you're getting into a franchise system and having a partnership where they're going to give you ongoing support, not only pre-opening support, ongoing support. Uh, in your business, as well as a network of franchisees in your same system that will give you support. So it's a great way to have all sorts of support in your business. And then another thing on franchising, one of the things that really, when it comes to franchising, people think, oh, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, and just restaurants. I would tell you when you're driving on the street and you see all those trucks by your businesses, I would say probably 60 to 70 percent of them are franchises it could it's in many in all different industries there's franchise businesses wow wow so let's talk a little bit about crafting your franchise venture what does that look like <laughs> yeah so with you know in in franchise venture really it it when someone comes to me there's there's just key things that we have to talk about one is investment level. And a, a lot of times people don't know what it takes to get into a franchise, what mm -hmm. what kind of investment level is. Well, typically you want to have around $50,000 of liquid cash and then the ability to get funding. Of an average franchise, probably about 150 to 200 um, K uh, would be about the average. There's some obviously lower price, higher price, that, depending on that. So it really is that, hey, let's get the investment level down. Let's get, do you want to be a, a uh, owner operator where you're going to you know, either get out of your job right away and start the business? Or do you want to have a semi-passive model where you uh, hire a manager to run the day-to-day -day and you may still keep your job and then transition into the business after it grows? Um, and, and then obviously we talk about all the different industries that are out there and, and what uh, the person may like and kind of what kind of lifestyle they're looking for. And we kind of craft and match that into with those answers. Okay. So you, you pretty much hold that person's hand throughout yeah. the entire process. A hundred percent hold their hand. But what I will do is I'll show them maybe 10 to dip. 10 to 15 different franchises possibly that I think would be a great fit. Then what I do is I introduce them to the franchisor. And then, like you said, I stay with them, hold their hands. We talk about, Hey, they're going to send you a FDD, a franchise disclosure document. I'll help them read that. I'll, I'll help them go. Okay. Now that we kind of like this franchise, let's get to the, 
the, you know, let's really dial down into it. And let's talk with existing franchisees that are they going to get, are they going to tell you you're going to get great support that they would do this business again and when they're profitable. So I help them answer those questions as well as if they need lending options, I could introduce them to lenders. And the, and the great thing for using a, you know, a broker like myself, you know, it's all free to the, to the, the client. Uh, we get paid out of the franchisor's marketing budget and you don't pay any extra fees. So if anyone's looking for a business, it, you know, a broker is a great way to go. Okay. Well, that's really good because most people think there's a fee to work with you, but there isn't. So if that's your desire, then go for it. Because at the end of the day, you know, you'll find what you're looking for and you get handheld throughout the process. So, but the newbie people, because a lot of people don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to say a lot of people, but some people don't even understand franchise. They don't know what they don't know, so to speak. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, so, okay, so what different types of franchises are there out there? That's a great question. That's there. Uh, there, I could talk to you for an hour on that, but let's just go. <laughs> um, <laughs> So the most expensive franchise investment level would be food. And that would be, you know, either your fast food, your fine dining, the food franchises are, are really great. Um, uh, but they, they do cost a lot because the kitchen equipment and, and just the build outs are so expensive. So food is definitely a popular one um, with all the athletes that, that I work with the majority of those like health and wellness. So gyms, um, uh, Muscle recovery studios, uh, and then just the different uh, different type of therapy, stretch therapy, uh, you know, swim schools that are out there, and then one of the other uh, ones that's kind of emerging, really, is is uh, in the pet world where you have dog grooming, which is a great franchise. That there's brick and mortar, there's mobile, but the margins on those are are, are super strong. There's home services where there's window washing of homes, cleaning homes, of uh, uh, remodeling homes uh, that are out there. There is even a, a franchise that is a Tesla, uh, painting Tesla and, and uh, fixing up Teslas because Tesla is such a unique auto brand that there's a franchise just dedicated to the Tesla model, um, wow. as well as oil changes, senior care is out there, um, you know, uh, junk removal. It, it is just, uh, I, I'm, I, there's so many more we could talk about, but the, the possibilities are endless. And it's it's really fun when you get a client that goes, you know, I'm just kind of exploring. And, let, and then we, what we do is we talk about every, every industry, I give them examples, and then we can kind of, you know, get our list narrowed down from there for sure. Okay. So, wow, you're right. It's like a ton of them. Oh yes, tons, tons. Yes, I have. I represent. I have about five hundred that I represent, and the, uh, the that are out there in my inventory that I can show them. Wow, that's amazing. So, what are the benefits of of buying a franch buying into a franchise as opposed to starting your own company? Yeah, that's a, that's a really great question, and. Where it really, if you're starting your own company, you're out there and you are on your own. You you, you may have some friends and, and and that are helping you, but you know you haven't gone through the business model before. You're just kind of flying by and and learning as you go. You're going to make those mistakes and go, mm -hmm. hey, I made that mistakes, and you're going to learn from them. In the franchise model, you know you you have where a playbook. You get a playbook. You follow it. And this, the, the franchise business, they typically have, you know, their own locations where they've gone through all those mistakes, learned from them, corrected them. And then not only that, you have the opening support from the franchisor, but you also have marketing support. Uh, they have call centers that answer phones for you. If, if yeah. that's in the particular franchise that you have, you have um, site selection where they help you with real estate and select sites if it's a brick and mortar, as well as you have your opening grand opening support. 
and then you have dedicated people that come out and and help you and then you're you're a phone call away to the franchisor as well as the franchisees in the system that you are getting all this business advice. So, you know, yes, I know there's royalties and fees, but, uh, you know, I would rather be in business with, you know, a yeah. hundred people that have, have uh, perfected the model than trying to go out on my own. Yes. Yes. And being a part of a franchise, I would think that you're representing the brand. So they want you to succeed. So they're going to do everything in their power to help you with that. A hundred percent. It's not like they just want to get that franchise fee because that's a one-time fee that you join to, that you pay to join the franchise. They're not just looking for that. They're looking for a long-term relationship. They want you to be successful for their successful. But not only that, let's just say you're doing, let's just say you started a dog grooming business. You have that one unit. You're doing great at it. Well, you may go, Hey, I'm going to have another unit and another unit. So they want you to expand and they want to grow mm -hmm. with you and you want to grow with them and just, you know, just make it a, a great partnership. Yes, absolutely. So if people are interested in pursuing um, franchises, how do they connect with you and getting that so, support? Yeah. So they connect with me by my website's, um, thefrandream.com there. Uh, there's plenty of little, you could search franchises on my website. You could take a free business assessment that, that gives you your strengths and weaknesses uh, that's on there, as well as you could just email me at james at thefrandream.com. And I uh, would love to connect with anybody who's looking for help. Absolutely. Now let's talk about the financial obligations and what they look for. Yeah, so financial obligations, you're looking for around $50,000 of liquid cash and the ability to get funding, usually credit score of about seven, 720 uh, of that. And, and then uh, you go and get, get a lender and they will help match you. you know, there's SBA loans that uh, they can match you with or what's kind of popular with people that are coming from the corporate world would be a 401k where you borrow from your 401k or do a rollover for your 401k. So, you know, put that to work for you of, of uh, you know, you use your own money to, to start and invest in the franchise uh, mm -hmm. that's out there. Yes, yes. Wow. It seems like it's a, it's a smart investment. So give us the reasons why it's a smart investment. Well, a smart investment, because you know, what what is the number one when people say invest? You know, what is the number? Oh, I'm going to invest in real estate. Okay. Well, you know, what I will tell you is, you know, it is, there's a lot of great things out in the media and, and success stories in real estate. Absolutely. It is a long play. And it is something that if you're looking to uh, eventually have an income from your business, real estate doesn't give you that real cut, that income. You can, you can replace your income in your job with a franchise business. You can't really do that in real estate because it's a long play that you have to have. And you're just getting that maybe that one lend some, the, a franchise business will be able to, where you can um, jump back in, in you leave corporate world and jump into your business, uh, into a business that's replacing your income. Uh, so it, it's a great move with the franchise business. Again, like we've talked about, you have that playbook, you have that support um, that's going to, that's already been through the, the things, that, the mistakes that you shouldn't make. And then you also have, you know, because oftentimes some people are not comfortable with talking to the franchise or, but you have all the franchisees that you go, you know, the person down the street or, you know, it's really close to you. Hey, help me with this. Hey, well, come over to my place and, and we'll get together and I'll help you out. It's, it's that, just that support is what it uh, really helps. And then with the franchise business as well, let's say you wanted to start a painting business but you do nothing about painting houses or homes. Well, the franchise will help you. You'll find the people that know how to do that uh, and they'll teach you how to run the business. So most of the time, if it's uh, a, business, a franchise business, you do not need to have that particular background to start that business. So the possibilities are wide open and endless. Wow, that was gonna be my next question when in picking a franchise, do you need to have a background in it? So you just answer that. You do not. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. 
that's amazing because some people, okay, have this dream. They always wanted to do X, Y, Z, but they have no experience. So in this scenario, they don't need it. Exactly, because you got that support. You know, there's a lot of people that sometimes I run across will be going, you know, my whole dream has been just to, you know, run a coffee shop. That's what I want to do. And I've, I've never done that. I don't have restaurant experience. How do I do that? Well, the franchisor will, you know, go, well, here's the playbook. Here's how you do it. And you know what? This is the equipment you're going to do. We're, we're going to get someone to help a uh, construction person that will help build the, out the, uh, the build out. Here's the equipment list. And we're going to come train you and your employees how to do that. And we're going to walk you through every step of how to open this coffee shop, how to be successful. And we're going to give you that ongoing support. And we're also going to help you market it too. And uh, so it, it is just a, a win-win if it's something that you don't have any experience in, but you go, gosh, I always wanted to do blank. Yes. Wow. It sounds like this is the move to make if you want to have a lucrative business and be able to have all the support systems in place that you need. I mean, you just like laid out a whole caveat of reasons why to do this. So this is amazing. I'm really, um, I'm really didn't know any of this. So thank you. Well, yeah. And, and also, you, know, you also look at it as, you know, let's provide generational wealth for my family in a franchise mm -hmm. system. Let's say you have one territory and then you go, hey, let's expand the business. You open up another territory and then, you know, your, your, your kids might grow up working in the business to where one day they will take over the business. So it is it is something that can provide generational wealth for families as well. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And um with the franchise, that's easily done because usually in a mom-pop type shop, the kids typically don't want it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so when you get tired, it's a done deal. Right. So Absolutely. my next question has to do with that. Say you want to get out. Can you sell or pass it on to a family member or whatever? How does that work? That's an amazing question. And uh, that's one thing that people think, gosh, if I get into a franchise, I'm locked into this for 10 years or whatever the agreement is. Well, not really. You can sell it. There's a lot of people that open franchises and they build up the business. And in two to three years, they sell it. And a lot, oftentimes they'll go buy another franchise and do the same thing where they have the reoccurring revenue from the business, but every two, three years, they're turning it over and selling it. So absolutely, it's your asset. It's your business. You do what you want with it. And and absolutely, you can sell it. Oh, okay. That's, now, do you assist with that? Yeah, so we do um, um, franchise resales. We, if there's a, a resale that we're talking with clients and a client goes, you know, I'd like to have an existing business as a franchise. We can help them find a, find a franchise that's selling selling their business as well. Wow. So you're a one-stop shop. <laughs> one-stop shop, exactly. <laughs> so again, how do people connect with you? Because this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, love it for the framdream.com or james at the framdream.com. Uh, and and uh, with, uh, like I said, love to connect and just it's a passion of mine. So I love talking about it. And uh, today I was talking with uh, this morning, had a meeting with uh, a kid who's, uh, you know, 22 years old, getting ready to graduate college. And he's like, you know, I want to go into franchise business. How do I do that? And we help lay a roadmap out for him to uh, get to where he wants. And, and uh, you know, we have a plan for him to, to get into the, the business world. Yes. And what a fitting name for your company, Grand Dream. I like that. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's making your dream come true with franchise ownership. Absolutely. So, James, this has been very eye-opening. I learned so much in this short period of time. And I know our viewers will do the same oh this is amazing i never even thought about a friend 
Josh, I'm about to call a friend dream. <laughs> <laughs> the friend dream, yes, it is the dream. <laughs> Absolutely. Because, I mean, nobody, I mean, all the support you get before you even get in the door, you're there to hold people's hand as they go through the process because it's scary when you're doing something you've never done before. A hundred percent. It's it's very scary. And you know, I'm gonna tell you, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the roadmap while you're learning about the franchise. And yes, I'm going to help you go, hey, this is a good one or not. And and sometimes we get to a franchise, we go, oh, you know what? The, it it just doesn't seem to be a good fit. Uh, and I always tell them, hey, when you are talking with the franchise or you know, you are interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. Mm -hmm. They're going to be your business partner. So you've got to like them and feel that connection and, and feel that you're going to get great support. If you don't feel that, then it's not a good fit. Yeah. So my next question is, on average, how long is the process? That is an amazing question. Sometimes the process can go uh, to uh, a month and a half, as quick as a month and a half or, or even sooner uh, of where the process is. I've had clients that I've taken that have been a year through the process of just talking with franchises, taking their time and going, no, that's not it. That's not it. Let's find another one. I, I had a former NFL football player. He had his own business and uh, we were going through all sorts of different franchises. We were talking about them. He was beaten with some people. And, and he goes, you know, I, I, after about six months, he goes, yeah, I think I, I'm going to just stick with my business. And and he goes, you know, well, I, you know, I'm actually, you know, kind of interested in a mental health uh, franchise that will help people with addiction and mental health. And, and uh, I said, OK, well, we'll find that franchise. So we found it. We talked with them. Um, he, you know, he talked with them over a few months and then he wound up signing with them and his goal is to put one of those in every NFL city. So it, it's, it's just about finding the right fit. Sometimes it comes right away. Sometimes it, it takes a while. It just kind of depends on, you know, just finding and hitting that right match. Wow. And who are your ideal clients? Who are the people that normally are attracted to this? Hey, that's anyone that is looking to get into the entrepreneur spirit. So from your professional athletes that are that are done playing that need, you know, another avenue after they're done to the person that's in corporate America that is uh, very, you know, uh, turned off by that now and realize that they've worked a long time that, hey, they'll replace you. There's no loyalty. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> take, take matters into your own hands and and start your own business and do something or to that person who is in corporate America going, you know, I want to, I want to transition in maybe two, three years. Well, then start a business now and uh, get one to where you're able to keep your job and still have the franchise. And there's plenty of them out there. Um, and then we can get you out of, of your business once the, about a, out of corporate America, once the business grows, as well as to retirees that, that are, that are done. And, you know, that, that, uh, wants something to do. Franchises are great. And uh, really anybody who has that entrepreneurial spirit and is and is not afraid to um, take that leap and get into business, because I'll tell you what, it is the, uh, I, I think everyone that I talk to will go, geez, I wish I would have done this so many years sooner, is typically this, the response from everybody that owns a business. Wow. Wow. So again, James, how do people connect with you? Thank you so much. TheFranDream.com or James at TheFranDream.com uh, or James at TheFranDream.com. I would uh, love to hear from everybody and, and help them out. Absolutely. So thank you. You made this so pleasant and inviting because I can feel your energy around it. So I can tell you love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I always love any any platform to be able to uh, talk to you. The, the host is great. And and to talk to the audience and just to uh, you know, give give people options and, and options and, and the help of, you know, the, there's someone out there that can help guide you and be at the process. And, you know, sometimes we find out maybe franchising is not a fit and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But explore, explore, explore. Absolutely. Because you never know till you explore. Exactly. Thank so you so much.
Thank you, James. And thank you, audience, for tuning in. We appreciate you. And have a wonderful day. Thank you to our guests and you, our valued audience, for stopping by. We truly appreciate you. Many blessings to you and yours.